Jake Paul had been looking for an opponent for a long time, and things finally got finalized with Tommy Fury, only to have cancelled a few days later. He's now found an opponent who's going to be the first legitimate boxer he's going to face. Having an impressive record of 12-1, Haseem Rahman Jr. would be a threat to anyone he faces. Let's see what's been going on between the two so far. Jake Paul vs. Tommy Fury is dead again, and maybe for good. Me and my team this morning arrived at Heathrow Airport, ready for the press conference, ready to fly out. And as soon as I entered the airport, I got pulled to one side and I was told by the Homeland Security officer that was there that my Esther had been denied and I wasn't able to travel to the USA for a reason that I apparently know. The British boxer and reality star was prevented entry to the US, likely due to his brother Tyson Fury's association with wanted mob boss Daniel Kinahan. This put the kibosh on his August 6th date with Paul, set for New York's Madison Square Garden. The first time their fight fell through was last December, when Fury got injured in training. Tyron Woodley stepped in to replace Fury then and was knocked out cold by the problem child for his efforts. This time, Haseem Rahman Jr. is replacing Fury, though he will hope any comparisons to Woodley ends right there. Rahman Jr., whose father famously upset Lennox Lewis in 2001 for the WBC, IBF, and WBO heavyweight titles, is a former training partner of Paul. When this matchup was announced, some thought the fix was in. However, it seems there may be real animosity between Paul and Rahman Jr., and thus, little chance of these former training partners pulling off something scandalous. Paul released some footage from the gym showing him and Rahman Jr. squabbling in the ring. In the clip, Rahman Jr. appears to be angry with Paul, talking, and promises to knock out the YouTuber. Now who's the, says Rahman Jr., squaring up to Paul. You wanna talk shit to a pro Cause really I'm coming here and knock your ass out. That's all I really do. You started out and talking. I'm gonna finish it. I don't know that man on the beat. Grab who the beat. I said hello, now who the beat? Cause I was a bitch a minute ago. What's up? Here, take the Since we're talking about training, we'll add this as well. Jake said, I've wanted to fight ever since Haseem ran his big mouth to me two years ago in the gym. My brother and manager didn't want me to take this fight. They said it was too much risk. The New York State Athletic Commission didn't want to approve this fight because they said Haseem had too much experience for me. He has over 100 amateur fights, 10 times more than Tommy, but I'm built different, he added. I'm psychotic, chaotic, problematic, but he's a heavyweight, they said. It don't matter to me. I'm the fighting flea. They can't hit me. I'm slippery like butter with speed like no other. My power is unique and my style is sleek. I've made the toughest men weak. I'm not afraid of any man or what can happen. No boxer has taken this big of a risk this early in their career. They don't have my heart, they don't have my soul, they don't have my drive, and they definitely don't have my team. Welcome to history, take a picture. To end this facade that he's calling a career. Sparring isn't fighting because, I mean, you're probably a little bit nervous about what happened. Obviously, it's, What happened? Obviously, what happened? Obviously, what happened? You don't the want to post it to spawn. That's Don't turn your back you. and run like you did when we sparred. Don't do that. And I will be using both hands. You'll Trust see. me. You'll and see. I will be using both hands. You'll see. Jake, Jake, you, you scam take. people, bro. What are you talking you about? Take, if I was scamming people, if I was scamming you people, I wouldn't so be broke. so stupid. If I was scamming people, I wouldn't be broke. Begging me for more money. What are you talking about? I didn't ask you for nothing. Begging me for more money. I didn't ask you for nothing. Paul is 5-0, but has never faced an actual boxer. The only opponent he's fought with a pro record was Tyron Woodley, who carried a 0-1 record in their rematch. Paul's other opponents include former Bellator welterweight champion Ben Askren, former NBA slam dunk champion Nate Robinson, and YouTuber Anisan Gibb. Haseem also talked about that training session. He said, Jake Paul and I sparred two years ago, and let's just say I took it easy on the kid. August 6 is not a sparring session. I'm going to separate him from God's conscience. My name is Haseem Rahman Jr., and I'm going to knock out Jake Paul, period. Oh, I was like, what? He want, he want to fight me for real? <laughs> Bet, say less, let's go. It was, it was not really uh, much thought put into it because I, I, I know he's not superior to me boxing-wise. And um, I know that if I come prepared, when I come prepared, it's going to be a, a, a sad day for Jake Paul and all his fans. Well, he's made it abundantly clear that he's not going to go easy on him when they lock horns on August 6th. Why should he? He fought a real boxer, and he won. And I plan on winning in a vicious knockout. And once I do that, people are going to be like, Jesus Christ, he just knocked out a heavyweight. Your reaction? Why a heavyweight, Jay? I mean, you haven't fought a heavyweight yet. Why a heavyweight now? Well, he has a name. You know, for me, it's hard to find a perfect opponent because they have to have a big name. Uh, they have to be uh, a good fighter. They have to be a professional boxer. I wanted to check that off the list. And so he just fit the whole entire description. 
and I know what I'm capable of. If I'm knocking everyone out at cruiserweight, then why can't I knock out someone? Both cruiserweights have the power to stop an opponent before the end of the fight. They've both proven it on numerous occasions. The son of the famous Haseem Rahman Sr. has picked up a decent amount of stoppages. Rahman Jr. currently holds a record of 12 to 1, with six of his victories coming before the bell. This American gives a 50% knockout percentage. Jake Paul, on the other hand, has taken the sport by storm with his power. The YouTube star has watched all of his opponents hit the canvas. Tyron Woodley was his only opponent to take him to the scorecards, but in their rematch, he was brutally knocked out in the sixth round. Paul holds a professional record of 5-0 with four knockouts on his resume. This gives him an 80% knockout rate. However, the superstar had less than half the amount of contests as his opponent, and none of them have been against a traditional boxer. And yet Jake is still willing to take on that challenge. No one's doing that, though. No one's ever done that in the history of boxing. Just get, like, your official prediction. Do you see, like, an early stoppage, a late stoppage? Do you see your brother breaking him down? I, I think, I think, uh, I think it's going to be a knockout, just like the rest. I just, like, historically, everyone that Jake faces ends up the same way, just horizontal. Jake Paul has not had many fights yet, and is still very much a novice in the sport of boxing. But he's certainly making fast strides to improve his ability. The American has knocked all of his opponents out as a professional, and clearly holds a natural heavy punch. The Problem Child made his professional debut in 2020 against YouTuber Anissa Gibb, where he secured a fairly easy first-round stoppage. He originally dropped the Brit early in the contest, but later landed a flurry of heavy punches to stop the fight. The Problem Child, Jake Paul! Paul's second fight came in November 2020, where he fought the undercard of Mike Tyson vs. Roy Jones Jr. against a former basketball player, Nate Robinson. The former athlete was caught with a devastating right hand in the second round to leave him unconscious on the canvas. Former MMA fighter Ben Askren was the superstar's next target. Askren was quickly knocked out in the first round, despite the fact that Jake Paul has an impressive record when it comes to a knockout. The fact is that none of them were a legitimate opponent. This could still be the reason people close to Jake Paul have warned him of Rami because he indeed is a dangerous customer. Your previous moments have all had some kind of uh, notoriety outside the boxing world, whether it was Tyron Woodley or Ben Askren or Nate Robinson, even Tommy Fury, who you're gonna fight, was a, you know, a reality show star in the UK on Love Island. I see what made you choose him as the opponent and on short notice? Well, for me, I've just wanted to fight a professional boxer since knocking out Tyron Woodley. Um, and I've been trying to do that since Tommy Fury pulled out the first time. I wanna check that off the list. I want to show people that I can knock out a professional boxer. Um, and so Haseem Rahman Jr. is a heavyweight. He's bigger than Tommy Fury, stronger than Tommy Fury. His dad was the heavyweight champion of the world. He has more amateur fights than Tommy Fury. So crazy. I want to prove to the boxing world that I'm a real dog, which I am. And I'm going to go in there against this 12 and one kid who's bigger than Tommy Fury, faster than Tommy Fury, all of these things and I'm going to put on the performance of a lifetime and just shut everyone up. It sounds like it's gonna be a hell of a fight and we can't wait for August 6th. So that's all the time we have today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do it the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.